I have some spectators. Spectator number one, spectator number two. So, once again, this isn't the best setup, but it's the only setup I currently have. I am sitting in the back garden. As some of you might know, I am in a village under Moscow. And I thought we could uh, just hang out. I know that you guys ask me a lot to show my actual process of knotting in real time and not sped up. So I thought I would do that for you today and show you what it is like to knot in real time with me. You might hear some background noises. Uh, we've got some neighbors. I think they're having a party. I have no idea if it's a social distancing party or what, um, but they are playing some loud music in their house. I hope it's just the people that actually live there, not people from other places, but you can never know. We also have some cats and dogs running around, so you might hear some of that, and uh, maybe some birds. It's kind of peaceful here. I like it a lot. So at this point, um, I've already filmed the tutorial for this. If you want a tutorial for this bracelet, I have that available. Will be linked, as always. Um, but at this point I already know how to do the pattern, so I'm not actually following it. I don't have the pattern up anywhere. I'm just um, doing this from my brain. And basically by looking back at the design I can already see sort of where the strings need to go. And that's all I really need at this point to figure out how to make the design. So I've done multiple videos sort of like this, uh, where I just not in real time and talk about random stuff and I usually give a lot of tips uh, in them and I've said this multiple times but I'm gonna say it again when you have a bunch of knots that you need to make, so I've got a bunch of backward knots here I like to take the strings I need to make the knots on and put them each in a finger like this to sort of fan them out to not have to separate them all the time when I'm knotting and I can just make the knots as I go I feel like that saves a lot of time but yeah, I thought we could just, you know Hang out a little bit, chat. Sometimes I do live streams when I'm knotting, so you guys can also hang out with me. Today I decided to just film a video instead. In these videos I usually talk about what's currently going on in my life, and sort of just talk about that, and give you guys sort of like life updates and such, but you know, nothing has really been happening in my life now that we are quarantined. We are stuck at home, and um, basically trying to continue our normal daily lives as is, as everybody else is doing as well. Thankfully, as I've mentioned before, we do have this back garden, so I am able to sort of go outside and hang out here for a bit and get some air. We also can um, go into the forest and into the lake and go to see the lake as well without encountering people, so I'm very happy and grateful that we are able to do that. Um, regarding the lake actually, there's some swans on the lake right now. I try to get pictures but they're very far away, so that's kind of cute. But really not much is happening. I am in my last year of university. I just got an email today that my graduation is going to be postponed, which I mean, I was assuming was going to happen anyway. I have a month for all of my deadlines, a month left for all of them, and wow, I just want it to be over. Honestly, I'm, I'm so done with it. I am so, so done. I just want it to be over. I am currently in the process of writing my dissertation, which is the most painful thing I've ever done in my life, probably. Um, and I just, I'm so ready for it to be over, and so that I can actually spend this, uh, you know, quarantine time doing something I want to be doing, which is making videos for you guys, because I really enjoy doing that. So I'm trying to sort of evenly split my attention between university coursework and making videos at the moment, and I mean, I've been doing that the entire year, but now it's especially important because the deadlines are really close. And let me tell you, it's one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do. I feel like I lack the skill of properly structuring my time, I guess, because I tend to get really uh, stuck on doing one thing. So I'll be making videos the entire day, or like editing videos the entire day or something like that. And I'd find it really, really difficult to switch to actually um, do my coursework, but then when I do sit down to do my coursework on a different day, for example, I won't say that I spend the entire day doing that, because that's not true, but I do find it difficult to then switch to um, actually make a video if I need to do it um, based on like my schedule or whatever. I don't really have a set schedule at the moment, but I still have a sort of idea in my head that I want to post every couple of days at least. So yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of difficult. It was my birthday the other day as well. Thank you guys so much for all of your congratulations. It felt very special when everybody messaged me. 
It's very nice. It was on the 7th of April, if you don't know. And, you know, despite the fact that we were stuck in lockdown, and we still are, I managed to have a very nice day. Uh, my husband and I, if, if you don't know, uh, I am, as I said, under, in a village in Moscow. Um, we are in a sort of a country house. It's my husband's family country house. And we are here, just me and him, and three cats. One of which uh, lived here originally, and two of which uh, my father-in-law had to bring because he can't take care of them at the moment, so we're essentially cat-sitting for two of them. And they're really, really cute. Um, so yeah, it was just me and my husband out of the people. <laughs> uh, and we had a very nice day. We sort of went out for a little bit. Um, as I said, we walked around the forest and the lake. And uh, it was very lovely. I'm still very socially isolated, I might add. Uh, no people around, but it was very nice. And then we came home, we did a little barbecue. And um, it was good, it was good. My family and I uh, all Skyped. I've got family all around the world so much family everywhere and we all skyped together and they actually made me a cake the family that i have in moscow the one that's the family that is closest to me right now that i could have visited potentially but i can't because of this lockdown um they baked me a cake which i couldn't eat obviously but uh, they put some candles on it anyway and sang me happy birthday and i virtually blew out the candles and then they all ate it together it was very nice so I didn't actually have a slice of the cake, but, you know, the sentiment was there. It was very lovely. And just in general, you know, I, I tried to think positively and I had a nice time. And I enjoyed that a lot. What else has been happening? Not much. You know, as I said, nothing really has been happening. I'm trying to make bracelets, but it's really just not been happening for me. This is probably the first time I sat down to make a bracelet since... Um, the 24 hour bracelet challenge. If you haven't seen that, I will link that. I actually started making this bracelet during that challenge. But yeah, since I did that, I didn't actually sit down to make any bracelets because I've been so sort of overwhelmed with everything. Just been really busy with all the other stuff I have going on with my life. So I just, I don't have the mental energy or the time to actually sit down and make bracelets. But I felt like I needed a break right now. So I wanted to go out and not for a bit. I think taking breaks is very, very important in general, but it's very difficult not to let that break turn into procrastination. I have no idea what that noise is. <laughs> it's probably someone else doing something. But yeah, it's very difficult not to let your breaks turn into procrastination because yesterday, for example, um, as you guys know, I do have a Patreon where some of you guys support me and I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, and yesterday we played Uno uh, online with some of my patrons because I really didn't want to do my coursework <laughs> and I had a lovely time, thank you guys for joining me uh, I feel like it's something we're going to be doing more often now because it's genuinely a really fun thing to do I really like Uno in general, I didn't even know they had an app until I randomly found it but yeah that was fun I also recently reached 30 patrons and as promised ages ago, uh, I'm going to run a competition that is uh, Patreon exclusive. And we just settled on how we're going to run it. I sort of asked my patrons what specifically they want to do. And we settled that it's going to be a themed competition. And we settled on a theme, I believe. We might do it in rounds and such so that there's multiple winners. But if you want to join, it's not too late to join. As I said, we're going to be doing it in rounds as well, so maybe if you do it later you can join as well. But yeah, hopefully that goes well. I'm really excited to see what everyone creates for the competition. And hopefully once this lockdown ends, I can actually send out <laughs> all the prizes and such. Hopefully not that long of a time will pass until then. Other than that, I think everything has been good with me. As I said, I'm really trying to focus on the positives and just generally sort of be very chill and calm just to protect my own mental health, I guess. And I'm really trying not to worry about the things that are most worrying to me right now. And this is helping. I've heard from a lot of you guys as well that um, bracelets have helped you calm your anxieties and have helped you through sort of depressive phases as well. And that is genuinely amazing to hear because it is something that I struggle with as well. And I have found myself that it helps. So it's very, very nice to know with my tutorials and such, I've helped someone find a hobby that has helped them through their struggles. So that's amazing. And I can totally relate. It really does help me as well. I think I'm going to end the video round about now. I've been filming for a while and my camera is kind of dying. So I might wrap it up now. <laughs> Let me know if you enjoy these kinds of videos because 
at the moment it's really difficult for me to film actual proper videos because not only do I not have uh, my proper filming equipment, like my lights and such, uh, but I also don't really have a proper editing platform. Like I do have my laptop and I do have Premiere Pro on my laptop, but the laptop itself is extremely laggy, very very slow, So and it's small, the screen is very tiny, so editing on it is very 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 difficult, and rendering takes forever. So it's very difficult for me to produce highly polished um, videos at the moment. So videos like this maybe, where I just sit down and chat to you guys, is something that I could potentially do more, and it's easier for me to do. So let me know if you enjoy this kind of stuff. But yeah, I guess all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, it's windy. And I'll see you next time. Bye.